okay uh, October 11 2021 in this video I will discuss actually something I'm not really proud about uh, it might have taken place it might have not taken place uh, I think it actually did took place uh, it is in respect to Prince William uh, whom in 2011 I believe I did cut I did cut with something with some kind of object <sighs> we were I don't know the place I have no idea where we were probably if I would go over and see about his whereabouts in 2011 abroad I most likely would know where we were the only thing I remember is a lot of beating a lot of torture with him and somebody else in some city somewhere um, again torture me being brought back to some location that's the residence where he stayed with his bodyguards whatever uh, friends someone else only bodyguards and uh, me being seated I yet have to see that uh, me being seated at a table and I was like, yeah, yeah, everything I was, I was confirming, yes, 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 yes. Um, it was quite a few people. So that I would take physically on so many people, this is, this would not have a result. Uh, it was like an interrogation process that ended after the torture. Harry returned with some people this was official version uh, that we have to hurry up and, and go back uh, but I think I am 100% I know for a fact that it wasn't on one occasion he would stand on the side and watch observe torture always he did this and personally he engaged in torture psychological physical torture on multitude occasions uh, it came to his marriage you read about a crisis that suppose Kate Middleton the same thing like uh, case was with the Miroslav Berger here his wife Alenka Berger uh, stated to me once that Mira no longer sleeps at night that he is completely he didn't she didn't want to she would never say that about her husband but she wanted to say she, he's insane uh, the ability to to torture someone has a side effects and these side effects do come then with a cost you know your conscience your you're not at peace uh, you're doing it all wrong uh, and you're growing inside of your head pathos this was by far the strongest weapon I possessed under MK Ultra, and it's a weapon that destroyed numerous thanks God Almighty may you burn in hell uh, some that were on a prominent positions some that were uh, strong economically independent and so on well standing escaped uh, what otherwise in some cases even governments took uh, in advance to terminate people like this mentally ill people in this case uh, something I'm not proud about I don't do that kind of stuff I don't I don't actually use objects ever 
uh, under any circumstances against anybody. I never did. I was threatened with knives, weapons. I never used a single weapon in my lifetime. Kind of strange, uh, considering that I was in a really crazy situation in my life. I never did. In this case, however, I was frustrated. I was. I, I didn't know how to respond anymore to this. Prince William was just hmm, overwhelmingly rotten. Overwhelmingly rotten. Came to the table, started to something and I was yes 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 and at one point I grabbed something on the table and just went like this not that I thought that I would actually even succeed in doing something but unfortunately somehow he got cut here Bruce uh, I understand bad Bruce bad crazy stuff because it makes me feel very very bad probably about MK Ultra entire MK Ultra process it makes me feel the worst maybe because I think uh, to do something like this it's like more like a cowardish act it's like a cowardice uh, but in this case I was just so frustrated uh, I was just going yes 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 and in my mind I would just literally wanted to kill these people every one of them and so out of weakness i suppose that i did grab something like this and did something like that insignificant really um it would have been significant if i would leave five dead bodies behind me that day it would have been significant if i would beat them up that day that would make physically uh, but to do something like this is like, well, sucks, sucks. Um, this is just to respond. Look. To the news here, which I posted on October the 9th, 2021. It's definitely worth it for you to see it. You got to see this video. You got to see it. Um, on what the Polish website, this one right here, that's uh, msn.com Polska, they know uh, which sites I visit, they register every visitor, I am the, the most registered visitor on the internet, they know everything, where I go, what I do, this and that. So, it was exactly on this website here with front this picture here and the article stated what is he hiding under the beard and I was told on MK Ultra if I'm gonna they're gonna communicate with me through the Polish website whenever the Royals are gonna have something they're gonna give to the Polish and then they're gonna if it's gonna be like a really good video uh, this video here did hit the core of the issues that are pertaining to my case. They're not only pertaining to my case. Uh, Germany traditionally used other nations um, exploit the crisis to push itself forward. You know, it's not unusual for Germany to finance the war against Ukraine just as it was not in 2015 to use Hungary and Serbia against Croatia. This is a normal thing. This is, for Germany, this is normal. This German perversion reached climax with a memorial they dedicated to themselves. It's Auschwitz. Look. Um, no. 
uh, Harry was here in Slovenia and he talked to me about that I did something to him. What is he hiding under the beard? Nothing, shit. I wouldn't know anything about what he is hiding under the beard. But Prince William does. Prince William. Prince William. Prince William does. Uh, he did blame it all on, from what I was told, on a golf. This legit Harry Potter scar on his forehead. Uh, and they did tell me that they are gonna, because of this stuff, that they're gonna affiliate me with, look at this here, look at this shit here. Harry Potter scar, uh, that there was a baby, that he was a baby. And uh, it's the baby, the serial killer, that uh, got him a scar. Look at this. Serial killer. When he was 15 months old, some shit like this. Uh, that's quite interesting because... We're just gonna put here, away this thing here. And um, I am gonna remove this here. And I'm gonna type down here, Prince Harry. Prince Harry's car. And uh, Prince William has a Harry Potter scar on his forehead. Look at that. And it says uh, the one who did to a Harry Potter. Fuck the, the Harry Potter and fuck the culture. Fuck the schizophrenic, schizoia shit. Culture like this. You're so fucking schizophrenic. People in the West, eh? you talked about the Russians being schizophrenic. You're fucking schizos, man. You're a real schizoids. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're mentally fucked up, people. Eh? And so they associated this stuff with... Yeah, this was all the time they claimed to me how the Russian people are schizophrenic. The Polish people are schizophrenic. Holy shit, man. When I see, when I read this stuff like this about... Stuff like this. That's basically like indirectly associated me like like this is not Orwellian way. You know, this is a schizoid way. This is a schizophrenic way. And it runs deep in this family here. It's deeper than 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 his schizophrenic aunt. It will take no responsibility for the stuff it does. You gotta go and look, you gotta read this stuff yourself. I don't know why this stuff is coming. Harry Potter scar, Prince William, Harry Potter scar, freak, freak, freak accident when he was young and this and that. He got this scar in 2011. He got this scar in 2011. Uh, this scar was from his point of view um, a de de detrimental factor to sentence me to a mental hospital he used this as a pretext as a final deter uh, determination that, that I should just go inside of the mental hospital so this is a dude that tortured since age 16 actively throughout the London he would subject me to abuse to humiliation literally in front of his cousins um, so then 
you go figure out because that's like a long time ago like 11 12 years earlier and uh, determined that in 2011 I have to go to mental hospital because well because of this in 2010 Prince Harry uh, Prince William in Chicago what the fuck you did in Chicago man with this artists in Chicago you remember what you were doing there <laughs> this individual and his brother his entire family deserves a death sentence that row they these are a serial killers assassins murderers that should be seated on electric chair in my opinion they're danger they're a real threat to society when you torture somebody these people did for 20 fucking seven years 27 years uh, on whom you have built your entire wealth literally through the torture on him whoa man do you hold like a private Christ like in a fucking closet this is what the fuck I was so that you could use to pile the wealth and you pay a person back uh, with the stuff like this you're fucking unimaginable you know Milosevic Slobodan Milosevic, it's a serial killer from the Balkans, the war criminal, the Karadzic, all these political characters. I don't think they match you. I think that you're more insane. I think that you're so fucking insane that hmm, there is no help. I was going to say, God help you, but there is no fucking help for you. Uh, if there can be any help, there should be help for the people. Um you're just so fucking dangerous man your entire people e people entire family is a family of complete lunatics as a matter of fact you know what I did not even remember anything about this shit I did not remember about any absolutely anything about this shit they do such a nice electroshocks once this MK Ultra sessions are done that they wipe you the short memory you don't know shit was brought right here back to Slovenia and here uh, right at the bridge it was a um, Otočec, a Otočec bridge here and uh, pointed at by other Slovenian people oh look what you did you know my family also this niece Urška Weber uh, look what you did and what you have done and the psychiatric hospital stuff also was what you have done what you have done and, and he, all he wants to do is fucking help you and uh, thank you thank you Prince Harry this and that uh, there was uh, attempts that they use to actually even make me believe that I didn't do it uh, that is a setup but this time I probably really did it's really something that I'm not proud of this is not this is this is really this is a really really bad stuff I am this is really not my character not even under MK Ultra uh, but I was just so at the, at the time I had no idea what happened to me so frustrated with everything that they keep bringing me back um, to this individual that they keep doing this shit to me that I really did that kind of stuff so this is the worst people in the world this is like I said it makes me feel like an old hooker that you like, like an old worn out hooker that you use completely and then you just destroy one like completely like it's like for disposable like um, you don't want to know anything about it anymore you get whatever you need and then you just get rid of it basically in that sense so I gotta tell exactly the way things are um, I am not a royal um, 
for that matter, also, of course, I would not have anything with these people other than to get them in the jail. They need to go to the jail, folks. This is, this is, these are the people, these are the worst people that walk on earth. There is nothing worse uh, than these people. Can't afford myself to land on that level. I was gonna finish a little earlier video with, as a matter of fact, until the very recent, I did not, I, I, I grew sympathies for these people, for the royals. It's this sympathy, this shit, it's built on the fucking mainstream media, folks. They push in the face about the Putin killer, Putin, Putin. Putin, in my case, was used as a, the worst of the worst, and he was world, really the worst person in the world he was. Because he really was, a, a re, he's a really bad person. Uh, but later on, I think that they even actually, they used Putin so they could, next to abuse, next to damage, psychological torture, physical torture they exercised against me, uh, they could somehow, they used him actually to, you know, to, they tortured me and parallel to that, they gestured me like, they're my friends on the side, you know? Did they side with me? So you always, a human by, mind is always designed, you know, it's always programmed to look for a positive, for good things in the people. And so that too was manipulation. It wasn't only this mainstream media, but Putin alone, I believe, because it's a Russian system that's like this, that he just hovers in there and uh, you, you can't get him because it's it's a uh, dictatorial stuff um, that they used him actually you know to to steer me away from ultimate truth about who they actually are they finance the crime against me in Poland they have Poland uh, I'm gonna sell again a little finger they own Poland. Let us say Poland is like to Kaczynski, to Andrzej Duda, Morawiecki, and all this. Poland just learn how beneficial, you know, is this uh, parasitic relationship with them, basically. Uh, look, all this uh, all these parties. Uh, let me explain to you something. They want to get rid of me. They want to get rid of you because when it's a payday, like Ursula von der Leyen claimed me in 2000 and something, they claimed downstairs. And we also, we don't own you, owe you that much. We don't owe you that much. That's why I was prompted by the people. Don't actually even talk about the money because these people are, it's like the worst, I suppose, now, the time. You know, this is this is just the way it is. If you want to make the worst enemy in the world with a German, you just give him a fucking credit, and you're gonna see what happens when the time comes that he, it's time to pay you back what he owes you, and you're gonna see what happens. All right, thanks for watching this video. Again, till next time. Yeah.